Hi there, Dexter Ilagan here. So I'm going to uh, teach you how to download these files from the OCA website, which is embedded in the OCA Circular uh, 61-2021. So uh, the files are cash receipts register, cash disbursement register, and the instructions for all fine stuff or how to accomplish the forms the cash receipts and cash disbursement so a copy of the circle is included also in the file so let's begin the first thing we're going to do is to launch a web browser so i'm using a laptop my web browser is microsoft edge so windows 10 microsoft edge if you have uh, chrome Firefox or Mozilla, so you can use that also. So click the web browser, then on top of the web browser, the address bar, click the address bar, and you type the, the site of OCA, which is oka.judiciary.gov.ph, oca.judiciary.gov.ph. So, oka.judiciary.gov.ph and so there's a there's giving already the site is oka you can click enter or you can press the this office of the court administrator so it will uh, take you to the site so we're looking for oka circular 621-2021 so click the issuances menu and it will give us a drop down list. So these are the issuances of the Supreme Court. So we're looking for circulars. Click circular and year 2021. Then wait to see the list of circulars issued by OCA. Okay, this is the list of the circular. So the first circular here is the latest issue ones of the OCA. So we're looking for 621-2021. Here is the 621-2021. So what we're going to do is to click the link, embedded link, the forms here. So the forms is under embedded here. So click the word uh, forms and then you would yeah, uh, you can see the file is downloaded here. So, and uh, as you notice, the file uh, plain blank paper. So it means, and it's that rar. It means it is a zip file. So you cannot open this file if you don't have an application, a zip application, or a WinRAR application. So next thing we're going to do is to download the application and install the application in order for us to extract the file inside so the circulars the cash receipts register the cash disbursement register and the instructions are inside this file so we cannot open this unless we install the application the WinRAR application so we need to download it so open another window of the browser you can click the plus sign so plus sign and it will uh, give us the new window for the uh, new window of the web browser. So this is the search engine. You click the search engine, or you can read. Uh, you can see the search the web. So click the search engine, and you type download uh, download WinRAR. So we're looking for the application WinRAR. So click uh, enter enter. then we go to the site of WinRAR go to the uh, download directly from the site WinRAR so click the WinRAR site and here is the software so click it 64 bit it's for the Windows 10 uh, operating system 64 bit so the it's already downloaded the WinRAR so click the file in the downloaded folder click it to install the applications so it will prompt us to 
and ask us if you're going to install. So click yes. Then to be installed along with other programs under program files. So click install. Install. Then wait. Oh, so mabilis lang. Install na. So okay. Okay, and then done. So we're going to look for the downloaded file. So the most uh, so not most so not most. Uh, we go to look for the, the circular the forms downloaded forms. We can find the downloaded forms here in the so look for the download uh, file. So click the downloads file. There, there you can see the OCA circular number 621-2021. So right click. Don't click it. Ha? Right click. The mouse. Right click the mouse. And then we extract the file. So choose the option extract files. So extract files. Uh, there. So as you can see the file will be extracted here under the folder downloads also so it's fine with me just click ok and you can see oh, under the uh, zip file so the winrar extracted the file here uh, beside the, the zip file so double click it to see yeah, what's inside so these are the files inside the zip file we extract uh, by installing the WinRAR application. So you can see the instructions. This is uh, a PDF file for the instruction in the cache disbursement register. Save in Excel format. Cache disbursement register, Excel format. And this is the, the copy of the circular say, uh, in PDF file also. So let's check the Casusis register. Okay, wait. Okay. So this is ah yeah we uh, these are the Casusis register for all fans. So sheet the sheet first the sheet one is for the fiduciary fund Casusis register then STF then JDF. So JDF, there are two JDF files here. This JDF and the uh, JDF for first level. So, uh, magkaiba. You have different uh, cash receipts register for the first level. So this one is for the second level. So, dito yung modified. So the JDF and such is also the such. So, ito yung binago, I mean, modify from OCA Circular 2008, that's 2020. So, we modified the format. So, let's check kung ano na bago. So, ito, under the second level cash receipts register uh, for the JDF file. So, ito yung bago. So, we define, we allot a column for family court cases. So, why? Because kailangan natin i-account i-account yung collections for all family courts cases. So that's why we provided a separate column for family court cases. So yung 10% kailangan ibigay. So entitled ang family courts sa 10% na mga nakokolekta nila doon sa cases na na-file sa kanila. So you're going to put all collections for family court here, hindi yung 10% lang. So, yun yung kaiban. So, may detailed discussion tayo about sa accomplishment nitong per fund ng CRR. So, another video yon. So, this one lang. I'm going to show you the forms. All the forms here. So, you can save uh, individually yung file na to to use to different fund. Basta nandito sa loob yan. So, you can edit this this file unless you click the enable editing here in on top so ito yung cash receipts register and we we'll check naman natin yung cash disbursement register kung gumagana so wait lang okay 
Ito. So, dalawa. Dalawa. So, may additional form sa baba. Sample ng STF. So, you can check the sample. Uh, we have provided some entries there. And we're going to discuss this also in a separate tutorial na i-post namin per region doon sa provided group na ginawa namin sa Microsoft Teams platform. So, yung financial audit team for region 1, hanggang region 12, and NCR. So, dalawa, dalawang cash disbursement register lang. So, para sa FF and STF. So, this is, these are the forms you need to accomplish. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're going to upload some more videos aside from this one. Uh, the tutorial videos for all funds, particularly JDF and such. So, and uh, we suggest na dapat uh, mag-subscribe nga kayo dito sa channel na to. So, just click the subscribe button so that uh, you can uh, be notified automatically if we upload videos here. So, we will going to upload videos per, uh, regarding legal fees only. So, aside from the cash resist register tutorial, cash disbursement tutorial, so legal fees uh, videos uh, regarding the proper assessment and collection of fees. We give you example cases, the complex suits, computations, so the discussion uh, sa rules la, uh, gaya ng mga rules sa uh, BP2020 stop cases the difference or other criminal cases, paano ko collect and so some videos like that so we're going up load dito para to standardize yung collection ng to un, uh, make it uniform yung, yung collection natin and assessment ng legal fees nationwide so we chose this channel, dito sa YouTube namin ina-upload, mas madaling ma-access ng lahat, any, uh, anywhere, anytime na kailangan nyo. So, we encourage you to subscribe dito para mas madali namin, madali ang notification sa inyo. Hindi na kami uh, kailangan mag-isa-isa na mag-notify dito sa Microsoft Teams per region para makita nyo yung, panoorin yung video. So, Subscribe nyo lang po. Thank you.